class and show how to write on the whiteboard. First, you should write one standing line. At the end of the standing line, you should write one up curve. And at the middle of the standing line, you should write one sleeping line. Finish small letter T. Today we will learn the small letter T. Okay. So, how to trace the small letter T? A standing line with a small curve towards your right and a sleeping line in the middle of the standing line. Okay. And in the four grid line, you have to write the small letter T in the first three lines. Okay. So, this is the way you have to write the small letter T. Now, I will show uh, how to write the small letter T tracing all those things. Now, observe carefully. Okay. So, first write a standing line. At the end of the standing line, a right curve, sorry, um, up curve, small up curve. And then in the middle of the standing line, a sleeping line. This is also, it should be smaller one. Okay. This is the way we have to write the small letter T. Again, I will show. Observe carefully. Yes. Like this. That means reverse J small j right and in the middle a small letter uh, a sleeping line see here how the hand is showing so you have to write like this and a small right curve it is showing and a sleeping line a little small sleeping line right so this is the letter what is this letter called small letter t right okay see here how it is writing Yes, so we have to write like this. You got it right? Okay, now we will see how to write in the four grid line book. First three lines a standing line with a curve should be there. And in the sleeping line should be in the middle of that blue line. Okay, second blue line. I'm saying first blue line. So like this you have to write the small letter T in the first three lines. The sleeping line should be at the second line. Okay. So like this we have to write the small letter T. We will see some other words with T. T for television. T for television. So you know everyone. What is TV? After coming from school what you will do? You will just switch on the TV right? To see something. Yes or no? Yes. So... Seeing the watching the TV is uh, very bad, yes or no? Right, so T for tap, T for tap, you know, right? All, all our horses will have taps, so it should cut, it will control the flow of the liquid. Yes, if we don't want, we will just close it. If you want, we have to open the tap, so it is a flow of liquid from a pipe or container which is controlled. Thumb. T for thumb. Thumb means, so he is showing right, that finger is called thumb. It is a short thick finger on the side of the human hand. We will call it, uh, you, maybe you remember the thumbs up, right? It is nothing but we are opening the thumb. T for tamarind. T for tamarind. Tamarind is sticky brown acidic pulp from the power of a tree of the pea family. So, in all our curries, dals, we will be using this tamarind, right? Even for pickles also. To get the, that so taste, right? T for telephone. T for telephone. Telephone means, it is different from mobile phone, right? Mobile phone, it will be handy. But telephone, it is like landline. It will have numbers. We can't see there. Just we have to talk. Only audio will be there. There will be no video. Yes or no? Yes, that is called telephone. Now also we will be seeing telephone sometimes. T for tea. T for tea. Mostly your parents will be drinking this one, right? But uh, children, can they drink? No, it's not. Co tea, coffee, all those things, not at all good for health for children. They have to drink only milk. Okay. So tea is a hot drink. 
made by infusing the dried crushed leaves of the tea plant in boiling water t for taxi t for taxi it's a car that carries passengers to a place from one place to another and we have to and they will charge for that so nowadays we will call these taxis as cabs right maybe you remember that cab book a cab so it's nothing but taxi previous days they will be calling as taxi t for telescope t for telescope so it's like a, it's an instrument where we can see the space okay so all stars like planets all these things we can see very good with the instrument called telescope okay so it's very interesting instrument if you grow up you can try this telescope you will get to know what will be there in the space and uh, what are all the things we can see in the sky t for table t for table you know right almost all our houses will have tables to sit or we can serve something on this table now we'll see circle the small letter t what is the first letter that is the small letter s this is small letter t so we will circle it what is the next one small letter f if you observe small letter t and f are in reverse way yes yeah now what is the next one small letter t so we will circle it what is the next one small letter h next small letter s small letter j and small letter t again circle it and small letter j right these are all the letters circle the pictures with t what is the first letter first word picture it's a tree right so t for tree yes or no so we'll circle it what are these things this is balloons this is tortoise yes so t for tortoise this is called truck so t for truck it's a different lorry is different truck is different yes yeah so it is t for truck what is this one t for train so we will circle it the next one t for tiger tiger is the national animal of uh, india as yes or no right so it is the t for tiger so what is the next one draw t for table okay so we have to draw t for table are you all ready yes first write the small letter t okay okay so so draw a curve like this and again curve upward and downward and in the this side and that left side and right side draw the like this in opposite way okay standing line with curve and in the middle a small curve again okay so that is the our table is ready so we can color it you can color with your own favorite colors just i am coloring with the, we will color i'm coloring with blue okay right so t for table is ready right so what you have to do after the class you can learn and practice letter t draw the picture of table and learn all the new words what i have told today okay with correct pronunciation okay kids okay bye bye have a nice day